Today for our math strategies video, we're going to be talking about understanding fraction addition and subtraction. So as we add and subtract fractions, it's really not much different from adding and subtracting whole numbers. Because remember, adding means joining together, subtraction means taking away. So we're going to be um, adding and subtracting fractions um, using number lines and models to sort of help us visualize this and what's happening. So for our first problem, we're going to be taking four, two fourths, and we're going to be adding it with one fourth, okay? So let's go ahead and move up our, of course we have our one whole here, and I'm going to have um, my two fourths there, okay? And if I add one more fourth to it, I'm going to have a total of one, two, three, three fourths, okay? Because really I'm just adding two fourths and three fourths together, okay? So now notice in this problem how our denominator did not change. Some people may want to think of this as three eighths. As you can see here, three eighths would be significantly smaller than three fourths, okay? Because remember, we're just adding these three pieces together, which would give us three fourths, okay? All right, so let's take a look at a subtraction problem and how we can subtract this using a number line, okay? So you can see I have four fifths, and I'm gonna take away or subtract one fifth from that, okay? So you can use a number line just like you've used with whole numbers before, and you can find four fifths, which I already have here on my number line, and I can move back one, showing that I'm taking away one, and I get three fifths, okay? I can also draw a model to show this, okay? So I can have my model here, and this would illustrate four fifths, but I'm gonna go ahead and add um, one more just to show the whole, so I'm gonna have mine here. So I've got four fifths illustrated, and now when I take away, one of those fifths, I'm only going to have three left over, okay? So as you begin to add and subtract fractions, think about using number lines and models just like you did for whole numbers.